Good afternoon, second graders. Today we are going to start creating the template for our paper weaving project. And this is what your paper weaving project might look like at the end of the project. It's not going to be what it looks like today, but we're going to start by creating this template which we'll weave with. So I'm going to push these aside. You'll pick out one piece of colored construction paper. It is 12 inches by 18 inches, and you're going to fold it the hamburger style way, meaning the short end to the short end, and you'll line up the corners as best as you can. I'm standing, so it really helps me line them up. I'm gonna hold in here the center with my finger, and I'm gonna slide my finger out, pressing to the right and to the left. Then I'm gonna open it up and make sure that it looks even. Once I have it opened up, I'm turning it and I'm going to slide my ruler to the top of the page so that this is a ruler's width thick right here. And I'm going to make a pencil line at the top of the page where my ruler can fit, just like so. Then I'm going to write my name and I'm going to write the word stop, S-T-O-P. That's going to help us when we're doing the cutting part. Then I'm going to fold this back up and I'm going to make lines with my ruler that are perpendicular to my first line. So perpendicular means there's a 90 degree angle right here. So this is going horizontal, this line, and these lines are going to go vertical, the opposite way. So I'm gonna slide my ruler over to the edge and I'm going to make a line from this pencil line all the way down to my fold line. And I'm gonna pull away so that I can see that's as thick as my ruler. Then I'm going to slide my ruler down and line it up. Here's my pencil line from before and I'm going to make another line vertically from this pencil line down to the fold line. And as you can probably guess, I'm going to do it all the way until I get to the edge of my paper. I'm not just randomly putting my pencil lines. I'm not gonna make a pencil line here. I'm not gonna make a pencil line here. I have to use this line on the one side of my ruler to make a line on the other side of my ruler so that each ruler line or each line is a ruler's width apart. Now I make this look pretty easy. If you need a friend to help you hold the ruler, you can do that. If standing helps, it might help you get a little more firm grip on the ruler. That could be a very, very helpful strategy today. Then when you're finished, I'm going to have you turn this into me and we'll be ready to cut next time. We're not cutting anything today. We'll cut next time. 